Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omni Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing Central University's Common Entrance Test MSc Entrance Question Paper for the subject Plan Biotechnology conducted in the year 13th March 2024. If you, uh, if you are new to my channel please do like, share and subscribe. If you want still previous year question papers of Planned Biotechnology you can go to my channel Omni Bio Entrance. In the channel playlist, you can search for CUCET in that you will find. So coming to the first question. The correct order steps for developing transgenic plants through plant tissue culture will be. So first will be explant selection. Then addition of acetosyringone and agrobacterium having transgene. Then comes regeneration on selection media and then putative transgenic adult plant. So CDBA, CDBA is option one. Which of the following molecule does not have auxin like activity? Naphthalene acetic acid is an auxin, benzyl adenine is a cytokinin. So it is not going to have any uh, auxin like activity. Which of the following tissues would be most suitable for raising virus free plants? Leaf mesophyll cells, immature embryos harvested from immature seeds, no, intercalary meristem, no, actively growing tissue from shoot tips, yes, that will be most suitable for raising virus free plants. A similar question was asked in 2023 also. Then, during organogenesis from the callus, relatively high ratio of BAP, BAP is cytokinin to IAA is an auxin. So, cytokinin to auxin ratio would be favored for maintaining the callus for no longer period of time, no. Development of shoots from the callus, yes. Answer is option 2. Then, next one. Which of the following is a carbohydrate but cannot be used as a carbon source for in vitro plant tissue culture? It is myoinositol. Answer is option 3. Then you have to match. Gel right. Gel right is a solidification, solidifying agent. 2. A2. A2, A2 is there only in option 4. Okay, we will see. 2 for dichlorophenoxy acetic acid. It is an auxin, so it is for callus induction, B4. Polyvinyl pyrrolodon, C1, prevents oxidation of phenols, yes. Abscisic acid, stress hormone, D3. So, A2, B4, C1 and D3 is the answer. Answer is option 4. In plant tissue culture, explants are different, de-differentiated to form callus, okay. Callus tissue can be regenerated into complete plantlet primarily by altering the concentration of growth regulators. Answer is option 4. Growth regulators are your auxin and cytokinin. Then for ex vitro rooting shoots are treated with. So shoots are treated with auxin. For ex vitro rooting, usually IBA is used, indole butyric acid, and transplanted directly in the potting mix. Choose the correct option, it is auxin. Answer is option 2. Colchicine is used for the production of polyploids. Answer is option 3. Gametoclones, what are they? They are plants regenerated from gametic cells, that is your pollen and egg cells, and they are generated through tissue culture. Then technique of anther culture was first time described by Guha and Maheshwari. This question was also asked in 2023. Then next one. Which of the following tissue would be most suitable for the development of haploid from a male sterile plant? So male sterile plant means there is no pollen or anthers. So that pollen grains first option cannot be used. Apical meristem cannot give rise to haploid plant. New cellus also cannot, but ovule can. So answer here is option 4. Which of the following statement is not true for haploid plants? Double haploids produced from haploids are very useful for genome mapping. Yes, 
haploid production is very useful to generate exclusive male plants yes haploid production is one of the quickest method to achieve homozygosity of course haploids cannot be used for developing disease resistance varieties that is not true haploids can be used for developing re disease resistance varieties then following are the various stages of diploid plant generation from anthers i think a similar question had come in uh, uh, 2023 also i think i don't remember but yes yeah, something like that had come okay we will see anyway here incubating anthers on culture media d no explant preparation b b then d incubating anthers on culture media yes then comes differentiation differentiating callus then comes haploid plantlets from the callus you get haploid plantlets then these plantlets are treated with colchicine for chromosome doubling and you get homozygous diploid plants answer is option 2 b d c f e a then frequency of albino production is high in so it is high in androgenesis answer is option 2 then next one choose the correct combination of statements from the given list haploid plants regenerated through callus culture would always be exactly similar to the parent plant they will not be exactly similar to parent plant because somatic mutation epigenetic variation chromosomal aberrations all these can happen so they will not be exactly similar to parent plant Production of haploids is very useful for developing homozygous lines that can be used for breeding research. B is correct. Time taken to produce homozygous line through diploid haploid, double haploids is same as for selfing and inbreeding. No, double haploids produce homozygous lines faster than selfing and inbreeding trick techniques. So C is not correct. Haploids have been successfully coupled with the breeding program in several crops. Yes, B and D only is the correct answer. Answer is option 1. Then match. Polyethylene glycol, it is a fusogen, A3. Homocaryons. Homocaryons are somatic hybrids. Double haploids. Uh, they are from produced from anther culture. Then Mazerozyme, it is cell wall degrading enzyme used in protoplast isolation. D2. So A3, B1, C4 and D2. Answer is option 4. The first isolation of protoplast by mechanical method was achieved by. So it was by mechanical method was achieved by uh, Clerker. Water fern azola can be used as biofertilizer because it is having um, symbiotic association with cyanobacteria and abena. So answer is option 3 that is it is has symbiotic cyanobacteria. How many ATPs are required to generate 4 molecules of ammonia during symbiotic nitrogen fixation? So for producing 1 molecule of ammonia 8 ATPs are needed. So for 4 molecules of ammonia you need 32. Answer is option 4. Which of the following element plays a key role in the process of biological nitrogen fixation in legumes? It is molybdenum. Answer is option 4. Then next one. Which of the following is a biological control method to control pest? So it is companion plant planting uh, is the practice of growing different plants together to enhance growth, health and productivity. Answer is option 1. 
then which of the following organism can be used as a biocontrol agent in the treatment of plant diseases it is trichoderma answer is option 4 <coughs> sorry nitrogen fixation by rhizobium in nodules requires anaerobic environment so that's it thank you for watching my channel please do like share and subscribe if you are new to my channel uh, then uh, if you want uh, previous year question papers of uh, of plant biotechnology been answered you can go to my channel omni bio entrance in the channel playlist you search for c u c e t and in that you will find previous year question papers solved with explanation thank you